Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum dan hi. So, we meet again in this part 2 for BH, PH of a buffer solution. So, saya akan go through beberapa lagi jenis soalan untuk uh, discuss dengan awak macam mana nak kira PH for a buffer solution. So, I'm continue with the example 3. So, I'm going to focus with question 1 first. This is my first question. So, I have a buffer solution. So, saya mixkan CH3COOH dengan CH3COONA. Jadi, first, untuk kira pH value, kena tahulah ini asidik ke basic kan? Uh, hopefully, bila awak dah nampak COOH, you tahu this is acid. But also, can look at the Ka value. Uh, sorry, dia tak ada unit. And kita tahu the A, so means this is acidic buffer solution. Boleh terus kira pH by using henderson helsebach equation. So, we know the concentration for our salt and weak acid. So, simply substitute. Tolong kira sampai dapat pH. Uh, while watching this video, I hope that you guys terus buat bersama-sama dengan saya. So, tolong tekan calculator you sampai you dapat 4.74. Dah siap untuk question 1. So, I'm going to move to the question 2. I want to find the pH of the buffer solution. Buffer solution yang tadi, yang kita dah kira pH tu. I want to find the new pH after we add. HCl. So, ini sebenarnya melibatkan buffer action. Sebab awak tambah strong acid ke dalam buffer solution. Jadinya sekarang, untuk yang ini, kita tahu. Previously, saya dah explain. Buffer solution can maintain its pH, not much affected walaupun tambah strong acid. So, untuk kali ini, kita akan guna a calculation. We're going to show by using calculation, the pH is indeed not much affected. Jadi, before kita kira, saya nak explain dulu. This is my buffer solution. So, saya make up my buffer solution with CH3COOH. So, this is my weak acid. And I mix this with the conjugate, no, with the salt. Kenapa perlu ada salt? Because this will give you conjugate base. Completely dissociate. Concentration adalah sama. So, initially, saya ada this in my buffer solution. So, what's happen if I add into the buffer solution HCl? So, HCl akan bagi awak H plus ion since this is strong acid. So, concentration dia adalah sama. Jadi, yang sekarang ini adalah change. Jadi, awak ada I, awak ada C. Yes, ini melibatkan table tu juga. Jadi, awak kena construct the table. Before we construct the table, First step is equation. Jadi awak kena tulis equation dulu. Tolong pilih antara weak acid dengan conjugate base. Siapa yang akan react dengan H+. This is acid. Acid mana boleh react dengan acid kan? Base will react. Jadinya, we going to write the equation by using CH3COO- and H+, as the reactant. So, this is my equation. So, our first step is done. Second step, we're going to construct the table. So, I, C, F. Eh, kenapa F ni? Bukan E. Because this is completely dissociate, completely consumed. Jadinya sekarang, since this is not a reversible arrow, it's not a equilibrium, we're going to use F, final. Jadinya sekarang, bila awak ada a buffer action, you have to construct ICF table. Okay? So, this is in concentration. So, don't forget the unit. Okay. So, kalau awak tengok previous slide tadi, saya dah explain initially this 0.1 M and our weak acid pun 0.1. And H plus is HCl. So, 0.02 sebab this is a strong acid. Dan tadi juga saya dah explain ini adalah change. Jadinya sekarang, it's very easy for this ICF table because you don't have to find the X value. So, for reactant masih sama. Minus, product is plus. Jadinya sekarang, kalau awak dah ada nilai change, uh, simply masukkan je ke dalam table. Jadi, tak perlu cari X dah. Ha, jadi, this is quite easy lah. So, tolong kira your final concentration for this one supposedly you dapat. 0.08. This one is completely consumed. That's why 0. And this one you dapat 0.12. 
So, dah dapat final concentration, baru boleh kira pH yang baru menggunakan Henderson yang sebab equation. So, okay, A kita ada, okay, untuk salt, I know that in this equation mana ada garam pun. But, CH3CO- come from the salt. Means, we have to use this value untuk our salt. So, please substitute into the formula and calculate the pH value. Sepatutnya awak dapat 4.57. Okay, now. Initially, before kita tambah apa-apa dalam buffer solution, kita dah kira tadi pH is 4.74 dalam soalan 1. In this question, okay, A. Bila you tambah HCl, dia jadi 4.57. Memang ada pengurangan, tapi sedikit sangat. So, that's why it's not much affected. So, we have Prove that pH of the buffer solution is indeed maintained. Boleh? So, untuk lagi faham, kita pergi the second question, B. So, tadi tambah HCl, sekarang tambah nak O pula. This is my buffer solution. So, saya ada initially my weak acid with my conjugate base. So, again, ini 0.1, completely dissociate. So, boleh ambil concentration yang sama. So, my change is I add OH-, minus. this is strong base. Again, you have to construct ICF table. First step is for you to write the equation. Okay, sorry. Jadi, awak kena tahulah dulu siapa yang akan consume OH- minus ni. So, this is a base weak acid will consume. So, our equation is between CH3COOH with OH-. minus. So, I'm going to write the equation. So, my first step is done. Second step is construct your ICF table in concentration. And this is initially 0.1. For CH3COO- minus, it's also 0.1. Okay, so untuk OH-, minus, awak boleh dapat dari sini 0.02. H2O is liquid tak termasuk dalam ICF table. Jadi sekarang we know that this is change means we can simply write minus 0.02 and this one is minus 0.02 and this one is plus 0.02. Jadi sekarang untuk yang ni awak tolong kira final concentration supposedly for this one you dapat 0.08 completely consumed so kosong 0.12. So again, after dapat final concentration, baru boleh kira pH yang baru by using henderson hasselbalch equation. Again, this is your salt. Masukkan ke dalam formula, tekan calculator sampai dapat pH, supposedly you dapat 4.92. So previously in question 1, we know that the original pH is 4.74. Now, After we add a small amount of NaO, dia jadi 4.92. Again, not much affected. So, that's why pH of a buffer solution is maintained. Kerana OH- consume. Okay? Boleh? So, hopefully you nampak step dia. First step equation, second step is the table and third step find the new pH. So, settle for example 3. Untuk lagi faham, saya pergi lagi satu example, example 4. I'm going to focus on first question. Jadi, untuk yang ini, saya buat a buffer solution. Jadi, saya adalah bika kosong. Saya letak apa dalam ni? Saya mixkan NH4Cl sebanyak 600 ml. Eh, salah. 400 ml. NH3 sebanyak 600 ml. So, lepas saya mix, barulah saya dapat buffer solution. Okay, when you add 600 with 400, so final volume for the buffer is 1000 ml. So now, the concentration for these two is no longer the same because the volume is changed. So awak ada condition yang pertama, awak ada condition yang kedua. So we're going to use M1V1 equals to M2V2. So nak cari untuk NH3 dulu, so this is my M. V1, so masukkan ke dalam formula, this is my V2 tolong kira sampai you dapat M2, sepatutnya awak dapat untuk yang ini 0.06 M for NH4Cl benda yang sama, M1 V1 masukkan ke dalam formula, sampai you dapat M2, 
So, you akan dapat 0.6M. So, saya harap semua orang kira lah ni. Okay. So, barulah saya dapat concentration in buffer solution for these two species. Now, baru boleh kira pH value. Jadi, tadi kita dah tentukan the concentration in a buffer solution. So, this is actually NH3. Bila orang nampak NH, ni adalah weak base. Again, tak sure? Boleh tengok ni. Tak ada unit eh? So, this is a base. Kalau basic boleh kena cari pH terus? Tak boleh. Kena cari pOH dulu. So, by using the Henderson as about equation, we're going to find the pOH. So, we know the salt is 0.6 and this one is weak base 0.06. Masukkan ke dalam formula. Tekan calculator sampai dapat pOH. Dapat berapa? 5.74 supposedly. Dah dapat pOH baru boleh kira pH value by using this relationship. 14 minus 5.74 equals to 8.26. So, dah siap untuk soalan 1. So, we move forward to the second question. I want to find the pH of buffer solution yang kita dah kira tadi. After you add NaOH. Okay, again, this is a buffer action. Kena guna apa tadi? ICF table. So, initially, saya ada NH3 dan NH4Cl. So, this salt will dissociate to provide NH4 plus with the same concentration completely dissociate. So, I have my weak base and also conjugate acid in my buffer solution initially. So, apa yang terjadi kalau saya tambah NaOH? So, this is my change. OH minus datang daripada NaOH. So, this is a, sorry, same concentration, strong base. So, bila awak tambah base, siapa yang akan consume? Mana boleh base dengan base? Acid akan consume. Jadi, first step dah boleh buat equation. Jadinya sekarang, kita akan buat equation between NH4 plus with OH minus. This is my equation. So, first step is done. Jadi, apa tinggal step yang kedua? Construct ICF table in the form of concentration and saya nak semua untuk siapkan your ICF table kira final concentration. So, dah dapat final concentration. Remember, this is base. So, hanya boleh kira pOH dulu. So, by using final concentration, substitute into the pOH value. So, ini datang daripada garam. Boleh masukkan dalam ni. Ini your weak base. So, masukkan dalam ni. Dah dapat pOH, baru guna this relationship untuk cari pH value. So, I hope that everyone can finish this question. And this is answer. Upload your answer. Okay. So, we move forward to the 2B again. I add HCl. I want to find the pH of the buffer solution. So, this is my buffer solution. Initially, saya ada weak base and also conjugate acid yang diberi oleh salt. So, what I add in this buffer, I add HCl. So, this is my change. If you add H+, plus, this is a strong acid. Base akan consume. Jadi, untuk step yang pertama, please write the equation between NH3 with H+. Plus. Second step, construct the ICF table and please cari final concentration. So, third step, by using the final concentration, masukkan ke dalam Henderson Health sebab equation untuk cari pOH since this is base. Dah dapat pOH, baru boleh dapat pH value. Tolong siapkan dapat tak jawapan ni. So, upload your answer. So, untuk example 4, saya nak awak buat soalan 2. Upload your answer, okay? So, sikit lagi, this is the last part for uh, part 2. Try this 5. So, saya nak explain sikit. So, I have my buffer solution made up of CH3COONA with CH3COOH. And we know that this is a weak acid dan juga uh, dia dah cakap A dekat sini. So, this is acid. I want to find the pH value but I add 
5 gram of CHVCOONA into 250 ml. Now, boleh terus dapat pH value by guna Henderson as a equation. Because acid. You have your concentration for acetic acid. But you don't have the concentration for your salt. You hanya ada mass sahaja. Jadi kena cari concentration dulu. So concentration is mole over volume. Volume is given to you. Please tukar pergi liter. Hmm, macam mana nak cari mole? Tak ada pun. Awak ada mass. So we know that untuk cari mole, mass over molar mass. Jadi mass dah ada, molar mass boleh cari, dapat mole. Dah dapat concentration, masukkan dalam ni, kira pH value, siapkan untuk soalan satu. Soalan yang seterusnya. What is the new pH for this buffer solution? After you tambah 0.01 m of NaOH again. This is buffer action. Apa yang kena buat? Betul. ICF table. So in your buffer solution, awak ada CH3COOH dan CH3COONA. So this is your weak acid and the salt will supply conjugate base. So, yang ni awak dah ada concentration, yang ni pun awak dah ada concentration daripada soalan satu tadi. Okay, remember concentration dia sama. Kalau awak tambah OH- minus, ini adalah strong base. Siapa yang akan consume? Weak acid akan consume. Jadinya sekarang, step pertama, tolong tulis equation. Step yang kedua, construct ICF table. Find the final concentration. And third step, Guna Henderson has about equation to find the pH because this is acid. So, ada jawapan, tolong buat dan upload your answer. Okay, jadi ini sahaja untuk part 2. Jadi, hopefully you boleh faham untuk buffer action, mesti guna ICF table. So, that's all for this video. Thank you for listening.